one of the staples of Young Justice is the fact that each season seems to have a time jump. It's been unclear how much farther in the future Season 4, called Phantoms, will take place. But believe it or not, showrunner Greg Wiseman actually revealed this a couple of weeks back and we totally missed it. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about how far in the future the upcoming season of Young Justice will be. Now before we dive in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about the big giveaway. We're going to give away a PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you have to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us some sort of comment. And while you're at it, check out the Buy Me A Coffee link down below. It's a great way to support this channel with a tiny bit of pocket change, all while creating no reoccurring obligation for yourself. We really appreciate it. Now, as a fan of Young Justice, I remember when Season 2 kicked off and being somewhat shocked at how much time had passed between Season 1 and Season 2. I was actually totally unaware of Young Justice Legacy, so it really seemed like one heck of a jump. It was actually five years. Now, we're all anticipating Season 4, Young Justice Phantoms, but most fans were completely unaware of how far the upcoming time jump will be. Now, doing some research for the upcoming season, I started giving a listen to the Whelmed podcast. I've actually linked the podcast down below, and since I know you guys are all Young Justice fans, I'd have to recommend it. Pretty good work over there. Well, a couple months back, they did an interview with Greg Wiseman himself. And whether Greg meant to or not, he actually told us how big of a time jump Season 4 will have. Let's check out the clip. One of the joys of Young Justice is time is passing. And we are, you know, Artemis was 15 in Season 1. When, and as we go into Season 4, she's 25. And that's a big difference. With Greg Wiseman himself telling us exactly how old Artemis will be in Season 4, we can just use the Young Justice Wiki and the timeline to figure out exactly how long that time jump will be. Now, in the clip, he makes very clear Artemis will be 25 years old in Season 4. In case you were unaware of the timeline, Artemis was 15 in Season 1. Season 2 was a 5-year jump, making her 20. Season 3 was a 2-year jump, making her 22. This means if she's 25 in Season 4, it's been a 3-year time jump. With every new season of Young Justice, there's always a lot that goes on during those time jumps. So I'm really, really curious what happened during this three years. It seems like a really long time, and given the reveal of the Legion of Superheroes at the end of last season, I really am curious on where everything is aligned. Let me know down below, is there a particular storyline in the upcoming season you really want to see explored that might have gotten fleshed out during this three-year time jump? There is a lot going on. Now, once again, I want to thank the Whelmed Podcast. They always do great work, and it was awesome finding this little nugget in their treasure trove. So what do you guys think? How do you feel about a three-year time jump in the upcoming season of Young Justice? And how do you think a longer time jump will impact the upcoming season? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.